Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can do dense tracking with Code Tracker from Meta AI. So I created a video which is already on my channel about this Code Tracker. We went over the GitHub repository, how to set it up. We have now this demo Google Cola notebook that we ran through. We saw how we can do like object tracking or like point tracking with specific points. We can either like do segmentation mask. We're going to create some projects with that. We're going to have a live webcam as well in one of the upcoming videos. So definitely stay tuned for that where we basically just segment out different objects in the scene and then we track the points within those segmentation masks. So I showed you some different examples. I showed you how we can track different points where we basically just apply a whole grid on top of an image or like a video and then we track all the points from that grid throughout the whole video. So again, we had some different variations with the model, but in this way here, we're going to do dense tracking. So we're basically just tracking every single point in the whole image instead of sparse tracking, which is just individual points in our image. So let's now jump straight into this Google Colab notebook. Again, this is already one we went over in the previous video so definitely check that out if you want to go over all the details here so again in this video here we're going to do dense tracking so it's basically just tracking back and forth in our video so first of all it will track all the points in the whole video forward and then it will also go back in the video again it will reverse the video and then do the tracking um, backwards again so we can actually like, track the points like perfectly throughout the whole frame but this will actually like, be way slower compared to the previous example because now we want to track every single point in the whole image instead of just sparse points or like individual points so again we can either like downsample our image but make sure that if you're running this in google cola notebook that you have chosen the runtime uh, runtime here to a gpu so first of all here let's just get the shape of our video so again we have 48 frames we have color image RGB channels and we also have these image dimensions first of all here we're just going to do some interpolation we're basically just going to like interpolate and downscale our image we're going to run this block of code and it will do everything for us now we can go down and run this shape so now we can see we have a 100 by 180 image we actually like, don't need like that large of an image we can always like interpolate up again so let's now go down and do a forward pass of our model again as i showed you in the previous video we can just take our video that we want to pass through a model do a forward pass with we need to specify like the grid query frame and also if you want to use backward tracking or not so in the previous videos i basically, basically just showed you different variations that we can pass into this model predict function and we get back the tracks so this is basically just the tracks for our points for individual frames when they're moving from frame to frame. And we also get a prediction for our visibility. So basically just how visible are all the points in our image. So that could act like be uh, occlusions and so on. So the track is corresponding to all like the tracks and all the paths that you can see when we're doing object detection, for example, or object tracking, but also the sparse points that I showed you in the start. First of all here, we actually like need to run our model. So it will actually like take some time. Here we can see that it does the processing. This will take significantly longer compared to the sparse one. We can see that it takes around like eight seconds per iteration so this is definitely not going to like run in real time at all we could actually go in and run real time if you have a good gpu hardware accelerator for the sparse tracking but for this dense tracking here where we want to track every single point even though we have downsampled our image to a very low resolution it is still like very very slow so this won't be able to run in real time um, in the near future for sure then we're going to create this visualizer. So this is just from Meta AI. They have also released this in the GitHub repository, how we can create a visualizer. Basically just need to specify where we want to save it, the padding value, and also the mode that we want to run. So we're going to run optical flow mode. And we also have this visualizer so let's just do this here. It will create a video for us. So if you want to take your machine learning, AI and computer vision skills to the next level, I also have my courses on the website. You can go check them out. We have everything from update detection with deployment, update tracking with Yolo V8. We also have transformers and segmentation courses. The most interesting one, for me, it's definitely like this research paper implementation course where we learn how to actually like implement research paper architecture. So we're going to have the architecture on one side, we're going to have code on the other side. So now it's done processing the whole video. Should be able to see it over here in the folder, but we can also visualize it with this show video function directly in Google Colab. But it should be stored over here in our videos. So we can also see it here. So that will be called dense prediction tracking. So that is the video that we will have here. We can just directly go in and download it if you want to like download to a local computer. So yeah, here we can see that this is actually like a dense prediction or like a dense track of the whole image. So here we can basically just track all the points around how they're moving from our initial frame. So here we can see that we're initializing our points in the middle of the frame. So around like 2.5 seconds, it is five seconds in total. And then we're both doing going to do like a forward track to so forward pass in the video and we're also going to do a reverse so we're tracking all the points reverse in our video as well 
So this is actually like suitable for some applications and projects where you can just let it run for like a couple of minutes before you actually need the tracking results and so on. But again, being able to track all these points here is just really nice. You don't lose track at all of these points. So again, the results are amazing. We can do a lot of things with this code tracker from Meta AI. These videos are just to show you guys the act like capabilities and also how we can set it up in Google Colab. As I mentioned in this video and also the previous videos, we're going to apply this together with Yolo V8 for object segmentation. We're going to take individual points and then track our objects with this code tracker compared to some of the other trackers that we have with Byte Sword, Strong Sword, uh, by Trigger and so on. So thank you guys for watching this video here. I hope you have learned a ton and just getting some insights into this code tracker from Meta AI. It is really awesome. We get some really nice results. It will not real run real time, but we can still use it for some specific applications, especially like the sparse tracking with just individual points. Stay tuned for those videos. I hope you learned a ton. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button on the video or else I'll just see you next video guys. Bye for now.